Hey guys, welcome back to another video, um, and today I'll be showing you guys a new private server that was just created by Neonite, and I've actually covered their servers on the channel before, but this is a completely revamped server that will actually let you play in games, and you can mod up the game and everything. Of course, there'll be private games, so you're not going to have other people in there, um, but yeah, you'll be able to mod up the games, change gravity, change speed. And you'll even be able to use the Thanos skin, which I know a lot of you guys probably want. Before I get into that, make sure you guys subscribe if you've not already to the channel. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers, and also I'll be making a few more videos about these new private servers as we have a few more to cover. Um, probably end up coming out next season, which is actually next week. And yeah, I'll also be showing you guys how to get into different um, a lot of events within this new night private server, like the Travis Scott event, and much, much more. So if you guys want to see all of that stuff in the future, make sure you subscribe. It really helps us out. And finally, if you guys want, uh, make sure you leave a like on the video and try to hit 200 likes on this video. Really be appreciated if you guys would drop a like. And without further ado, let's get right into how to download and use the private server. So the first step that you need to do is join the Neonite Discord server, and I'll have the link for that in the description, and then you want to go into Announcements channel, and once you've done that, you can just scroll up a little bit, um, like this, and then you'll see that there's two versions of the Neonite Plus Plus app, and you just want to get the second one that says v1.0.1, so you just want to download that, and I've already done all of that, and once you've done that, you just want to extract this um, to anywhere on your computer. So then the second step is you must disable your antivirus for this to work. So you have to look up Defender and you got to turn this off. And then after you've done that, um, don't worry about any of this. Once you finish using it, you can just um, delete everything on here and you can turn it back on if you want to. You can do whatever you want after that. So once you've done this, um, you want to scroll down and click on exclusions. And then right over here, you just want to click on this for add an exclusion. Then you're going to click on file and then you are going to click on the file that you want to exclude so i'm just going to do that really quick and we're going to be doing it for the fortnite launcher if you could see what i just did uh, make sure this appears like this it should say fortnite launcher.exe so then once you've done that you are ready to go for the first part so you just want to go over here you just want to double click on neonet plus plus and then double click on the fortnite launcher and this should work now so one more thing that you guys should know about this is that it only works if you have the Fortnite game installed. Um, it doesn't, you don't have to have like a gaming computer or anything, it could literally be on like any laptop because um, for half of it you're just accessing the lobby and everything. But there's also another part where you go into a game, but it shouldn't be that intensive. Um, so most computers should be able to handle it, um, even if it's not a gaming computer. So again, um, this is just going to be your name, I'm just going to leave it as default in the internet user. And then you're going to change the Fortnite path if you've installed it to a different part of your computer instead of just like the default programs folder. So I'm just going to do that really quick. Alright guys, so my game was actually in the correct place, so I do not need to change anything for this Fortnite path. So all we need to do is click on save config, then click on load config, then start server, and then you're going to click on start game. There we go. Um, I had accidentally clicked on this before, but it is starting up now, and it should automatically find out where your game is located in. Um, you don't really need to fill this thing out unless it's like, I don't know, um, unless you're using like a uh, live event or some sort of other package that is not actually for Fortnite. So this is just going to launch it up really quick, and just like normal, but again, you will not be logged in to your account, so don't worry, nothing's going to happen. Um, when this thing is launched up. Okay guys, so it looks like we are in, and this is what it's going to look like. You'll have the custom background, custom name, and the custom um, news flash right over here. So pretty much what you do in the server is you can actually get into games if you really wanted to. Okay, so once again, once you're into here, you just want to click on the changer and you can just play any of these it really doesn't matter which one you do but it should have every single um like game mode in fortnite um, that you can play so it's kind of cool um and then i'm just gonna be playing default solos um and we're just gonna click on play so we are now into the game and it actually gives you the dano skin as you guys can see right over here so it's kind of cool that you can be like custom skin in the game that doesn't actually exist yet so yeah, it's really cool. 
and um, you just wait inside of here and the game will eventually start if you wait um, a little bit longer. Alright guys, so the bus finally launched and again, as I said before, if you want to get into the game faster, you can just do start aircraft and that will just make it a little bit faster, but you have to do that before you get into the game by doing it in the console. So we're just going to drop down here and you can literally just drop anywhere on the entire map, uh, just like a normal game. So nothing really special there except for the fact that um, you can really... Um, do a lot of extra things that you normally would not be able to do in a normal game of Fortnite because obviously this is a modding server So you can change up a lot of the different effects and everything and loot and all that stuff um, In the game, so we're just gonna land around here. Doesn't really matter where you land We'll land up here so we can see a lot of the um, Island and we can just see what's happening when I change all this stuff So the button they want to press to pull up the config that lets you change a ton of stuff in the world is you want to press the ins button If you don't know what that is, it's on most Windows keyboards It's in the top right of your keyboard if you have a like full-length keyboard If you're on like a laptop or something that doesn't have this you can um, of course download a macro um, That'll let you press the ins button pretty simple thing to do or you can just like get a another keyboard like literally any like Dell keyboard or anything would work for this so I'm just gonna press int on my keyboard like this and then you'll see that this config menu just pops up right here so I'm just gonna put it off the side here so you'll see that the first few things that you can do include um, get to the spawn island uh, teleporting to the main island and a bunch of other stuff which is really cool so we're obviously not gonna go to the spawn island right now because we want to explore the main island and change up some of the stuff on the main island uh, we'll do that at the end of the video um, go back to the spawn island um, so the first thing you can do is you can teleport um, uh, we can always teleport to like zero zero or anything I'm gonna save that till the end because I don't actually know the exact coordinates on the map so we'll test that out um, Fill level with water, that's a pretty um, simple thing to do, it'll literally just fill everything up with water, so it doesn't really change that much, but you'll see there's a little bit of water down there, showing that we are inside the water, um, and then you just click on remove water, and the water will go away. Um, the second thing is you can change the time of day, so you can change like how dark it is on the island. Uh, it doesn't really change as much until you get to the night hours. And of course, this is in military time, in case you did not notice already. Um, so, again, another pretty simple thing you can do just to customize the appearance of the world. Um, character, you can make them fly, skydive, or respawn. Um, and you can change up the FOV as well, which is really cool. That a lot of people actually wanted. Um, I like playing most games at around 100 ish FOV, so it's kind of cool. Um, you can change up the gravity scale. Uh, so, I'll show you guys right now. If you put up uh, more gravity, let's see. Then, yep, it is, you fall a lot faster. Alright, so the next thing that you can do in this is you can change your speed. So I'm just going to put that up a little bit as my game did crash when I put the gravity scale up like insanely high. So we're not going to make it too much, just like 1.1 and I'll show you guys that. So you guys can see I am moving slightly faster than I was before which is kind of nice because the speed is not that fast to begin with, you know, because like walking speed. But yeah, that's kind of nice if you just want to get around the map fast. And then you can of course do the fly, which will let you fly just like in creative. So you'll just be like flying like this, just move up to go up and everything. Um, another pretty simple thing, pretty self-explanatory thing that I don't really need to explain to you guys that much. Of course just click fly again to cancel it. And then we got the health percentage. You guys can see my health going down and then it's coming back up like this. So that's kind of cool to mess around with, I guess. Um, and then the shield, also really cool to mess around with. Um, shield goes from zero to 100 or one to 100, of course, because you don't want to die. Um, and then, yeah, so that's that's pretty much everything in this um, in this part of the config. And we're gonna move on to the next part of the helper section. Alright guys, so the last thing I want to show you is how to get different weapons and structures. So of course you're going to press on INS, and then once you get over here, you're going to go to the helpers tab, and then you're going to go to the weapons. So there's going to be a bunch of different things you, you can get, so we can just choose the, let's see, what do we want? We can choose the snowball launcher, that's kind of cool. And if you go on into the help section, you'll see that there's a button there to press to open up the console, and this will be the tilde button. Um, so that is what we'll be using. Tilda, and they're gonna type in cheat script, and they're gonna type in equip, and they're just gonna paste in the ID for the weapon. So press enter, and you'll get the weapon like this, how I'm holding it. And yeah, so you pretty much have the weapon now, 
and that's pretty much what this command does. Alright, so the final thing that you want to do if you want is you can add in some blueprints to the game, which are pretty much just any structure. So you're just going to scroll down on over here. I found that only um, these ones work for the stairs, which is kind of cool. So since you can't build in this like with the normal builds, um, you can just use these stairs. So I'm just going to scroll on down to it. So we're just going to take a stair right on over here, and I'll just copy it over to clipboard again. And then over here, you're just going to click on the tilde key again. And we're just going to type in summon, and then we're just going to paste on in the thing, and it'll appear like this under you, or above you. So yeah, this is kind of a weird stair, but it is something. Um, so that's pretty cool, and you can of course spawn like any of these structures that are in that list. And then finally, the final thing you can do is spawn in meshes, but this is very glitchy, so I'm probably not going to be doing any of these um, meshes right now. But you guys can try that, try out those on your own. Um, I just don't want my game to crash, but it might not crash your game, you never know. So yeah, that's the end of the video guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, let me know by liking. And if you want to see some more videos where maybe we'll mod the game and get some more um, Travis Scott events or maybe um, any of the events in Fortnite, make sure you subscribe as well. And I'll be posting those hopefully very soon in season six.